I know, it's been a tough week, but I'm glad to say that I got some more news for you guys, and this is all shaping up to turn out really well for Neo. There's three huge pieces of news that we just got, and I'm gonna go over each of them in this video, and this is going to be a major sign going into Neo's earnings day this upcoming Monday. So we're going into this weekend, there's gonna be a lot of people thinking about what's gonna go on on Monday once the earnings day hits. Now, going into that day, we just got some major news and all this news actually could possibly give us a big hint on what the NEO CEO and the whole management team are going to tell us on Monday. A lot of people are going to be listening to see some signs that they can take away from the earnings call. I think we might actually have a good idea of what they might talk about. Now, the critical attention to detail is important here. Let's go ahead and get into this news, and this might be a big hint for what they're going to talk about on Monday. So, with that being said, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell so you get all these updates immediately. I know a lot of you guys who are uh, subscribed and have the notification bell on are going to get this video probably today and especially going into the weekend, so you'll know as much as possible going into the earnings call. So subscribe, turn on the notification bell. These videos do take you know, a good amount of time. So starting off with the first piece of news, guys, and this is massive. We just got news about Neo's sales once again. Now, this is going to be a bit more important than just Neo's sales. This is going to relate to Neo's insurance. So typically at the beginning of every month, what happens is auto manufacturers report the sales numbers for the previous month. Now, sales numbers alone aren't as reliable. What's even more reliable than the raw vehicle sales numbers is going to be the amount of vehicles insured, the number of vehicles that have been insured for that month. That's always what you want to look at in terms of the most reliable data when looking at electric vehicle sales. The reason why is because the amount of vehicles insured for any particular month shows you the actual ownership. All those vehicles sell that, that were sold by NEO in a particular month might not necessarily be owned by an individual. That vehicle might not be owned by an individual yet. But with the insurance data, we know that somebody owns that vehicle for NEO. So with this being said, let's go ahead and take a look at these numbers for the EV companies in China and where they ranked for the amount of vehicles that NEO was able to insure. Check this out here. And you guys are not gonna be surprised to see this here. This is great news for NEO's business. Neo blows all its competitors out of the water, and this is not even close. Take a look at this. Neo owns both the top two spots out of this list. So we have here the top 12 models, electric vehicle models here, that have been insured for the month. Neo is at top two there, both of its models, the EC6 and the ES6, rank top two out of all its competitors. Now check this out, it's not even close. You have 2,800 amount of E6 vehicles insured. That blows the next, the previous EX5 at, top, at the third spot out of the water. They only had 2,291 vehicles insured. Now, look at this. Neo has both the EC6 and the ES6 in this list. The ES6 comes in at number two at 2,679 models insured. So go ahead and add these together. You'll get 5,500 vehicles insured between the EC6 and the ES6. But look at that down there. Neo also has the sixth spot with the ES8 coming in at 1,651 vehicles insured. So Neo has about 7,100 total vehicles insured for the month, but relative to its competitors, this blows all of them out of the water. You know, you can see here that, look at Xpeng, the G3 is 1988 vehicles insured. Tesla, the Model Y is 1967 vehicles insured. Neo combined takes them all out of the market. This isn't even close. This is extremely important, not just because Neo is making more money, but NEO is gaining market share at an extremely fast rate. That's the most important thing you need to think about when looking at which EV company to invest in. NEO is going to be the big player here. Tesla, 
originally had a huge chunk of the EV market share because of their Model 3 and their Model Y. But now look at this data. We're already seeing that NIO is off to a great start in 2021, and they're blowing all these guys, Tesla and Xpeng, out of the water. They're taking more market share from Tesla, and pretty soon they're going to hold a commandable share of China's EV market. So this is great news going into the earnings call, and this is important because it's vehicles insured, not like the previous sales data we're looking at. This is the amount of vehicles insured, so you always wanna take a look at this and always analyze the amount of vehicles insured because that shows the people that actually own these vehicles. Going into the earnings call, this is going to be great news, and the second piece of news that we need to talk about is going to be Neo's possible deal with Sinopec coming up. I dropped a video not too long ago talking about the first meeting with Neo and Sinopec's management. For those of you who haven't seen that video or don't know who Sinopec is, Sinopec is the second largest gas station in China. These guys have hundreds of gas stations all over China. And from what I've been told in the comments section, people have been saying that they live in China and everywhere they go, there's a Sinopec gas station. Now, obviously that speaks to the volume and the, and the size of this potential company, Sinopec. But to get to the heart of the matter here, I covered how their meeting went really well and Neo is potentially going to partner up with Sinopec and they're going to release more battery swapping stations right next to Sinopec's gas stations. Now, we just also got some news that there's now been a second meeting with Neo chairman, Neo's CEO, and the, the Sinopec management team as well. You know, I'm not, I'm not a rocket scientist here, but it doesn't take much to understand that if there's a second meeting after the first one, there is some interest here between both parties. If one party thought that the deal was off-putting or they did not like the terms of a potential deal, I don't think they would meet again the second time unless negotiations were serious. So I think we got some really important news just on this alone. Going into the earnings call, maybe CEO is going to go ahead and talk a little bit more about the details of these meetings and what could potentially transpire out of these meetings. The reason why this is so huge is because now Neo's battery swapping will be taken up to a whole new level. Neo specializes in battery swapping, as I'm sure many of you guys already know, and this is huge for Neo's vehicles. If you have more battery swapping stations throughout China, then more people are going to buy Neo's vehicles because the battery swapping process is going to be so convenient and accessible. And that's a great portion of Neo's sales because it's recurring revenue. In the battery swapping program, you can go ahead and just swap the batteries and you can even lease batteries for a recurring monthly fee that gets paid to Neo. You don't have to buy the battery, you can just lease the battery. And that's going to be a recurring monthly fee that goes to Neo, which means Neo makes more money, which means we make more money as Neo investors. So that's huge news, and we need to go ahead and stay in tune for the earnings call to see what they're going to talk about with regards to the Sinopec deal. Now, finally, the last, but probably the most important piece of news. If you guys have already came this far into the video, I appreciate you guys for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and also turn on the notifications to get these updates. I'm going to drop an analysis video when the earnings call releases on Monday, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now, the last piece of news. I just recently dropped a video talking about Neo's margins. They have this product that is substantially going to improve their margins by a lot. Now, if you've seen the video, you'll know that by product, I'm referring to Neo's new 100 kilowatt battery pack, which was released at the end of last year. Going over the details on this battery pack, I performed an analysis and spoke to you guys about it on my last video. And we got to the conclusion that with this new 100 kilowatt battery pack, Neo is going to end up making more money than the 70 kilowatt battery pack. On every Neo vehicle, they'll make about an extra $4,000 for every Neo vehicle sold. Now, if you go all the way down to the gross margin, this will result in two to three percentage points increase in Neo's gross margins per vehicle. This is assuming that half the vehicles sold have 70 kilowatt batteries and half the vehicles sold have 100 kilowatt batteries. That's going to mean Neo is going to potentially make millions 
and at one point billions of more dollars from these new battery packs. The 100 kilowatt battery pack is going to be a game changer for NEO because of how much money it's making them. And I'm going to be tuning into the earnings call to see if they give us any margin details on these battery packs and just overall gross margin details on their vehicles because that's one of the most important things here guys as investors you always want to concentrate on the gross margin we've seen that neo sales are doing great neo is taking market share from everybody including tesla the only left piece left now is gross margins on these vehicles that neo neo sells they need to make more money as of now they're not making as much margins from these vehicles neo is currently not making as much money as tesla per vehicle tesla is making about 24 percent gross margins but this battery pack can definitely kick neo closer to the same playing field as tesla and that's what i'm gonna keep my eye out on in the earnings call so all this are massive hints that we can keep an eye on going into the earnings call and i think all of this combined together can lead to a huge earnings surprise for NEO stock. But until then, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.